okay, Mary, I figured uh, I'd try to do a video for you to just kind of go over you, go over what the back end, what your admin section's going to look like and or work like. It won't be exactly like this. Mine's a little bit different, more than likely, than the theme we purchased, whether it's the one, the X theme that you've liked, um, you've mentioned some things on that, or it's something else. Um, for the most part, I'm going to have lots of options for us to style and lay out the site for you. So I kind of want to show you some things because you're mentioning the uh, the graphic links and having some of those links to other sections and you did an attachment that was like a blog post attachment basically that was built in by the by that particular site that that admin section built that feature in um, so what I want to show is kind of how things are put together and different options and that what we're going to do is use the themes options to style your content to make it look nice and, and pretty and all that stuff we're not actually creating graphics we're using the elements given to us so you know I want to I want to be clear on that so for real quick uh, for real quick excuse me Real quick, let's go over one way you can do this, uh, kind of a, a basic way, and it's the standard way, something you're probably familiar with, and that's using this, this what's called the classic editor, and we use these little icons and stuff, so I could do something like, uh, let's see, this is a short code icon, we get as a pop-up box, and let's go ahead and do this, and don't worry about following or understanding, this is, I'm, I'm trying to go do this fast so I don't, have a 20 minute video for you, you know, I want I want a, I want a short video as short as possible anyways, okay, so we'll do that and then I'll do this is a title okay, and then I'll do a button so a lot of these elements are getting added through short codes, so I can do button big button and then you got some other options you can enter your link and whatever else the size of your button we'll do a large one I'll even add a little icon here add okay now let's update or save whatever And this is going to change. I just kind of have a basic page kind of set up. And don't worry about um, how this is set. I mean, I didn't style this. I didn't center anything. But what you can see, I can actually center this real quick. What you can see is that we're using short codes to add design elements, meaning a blue button, a red button, a small button, a large button, a button with an icon, at least what I'm showing you is a button, okay? You know, and then you got the typical stuff you can do here. Okay, um, another thing, and, and what we use a lot is uh, a visual composer, and like I said, I'm uh, your whatever thing we we purchase should have Visual Composer or something similar to that, and basically that's drag and drop or, or adding elements to create your layouts. And like I said before, we're taking your content, we're going to copy and paste it, and we're going to make it look pretty. We're not creating graphics; we're using the theme to set all this up and make it look nice. So, um, if I come, let me see, let me get rid of this, and then what I'll do. So I'll do Visual Composer, I'll add a section, and don't like I said, don't worry about following along. Um, let's see, the width. All right. Save that, and then let's see. We'll add three columns. All right, then and then now we get back to the actual visual editor. Okay, and then let's see another button. That's what we'll do. 
button. We'll do medium. No icon. And short code. Save. And then actually, let's see. I'll copy it. Drag it over. Copy it. Drag it over. Let's see how about a divider. All right. And then see, and so if you look at here, what you got is different elements. But you know, we have alert boxes and toggle boxes and tabs and a text box and special heading and and the one we have for you could be different like I said I don't know which one it's going to be and some of the different things that you can actually insert into the particular um, into the website to create your layout so if I update this So you'll see, you'll see the boxes and the buttons, and the boxes and the buttons, or the, the text columns and the buttons. Um, ignore how plain boring this is. I just wanted to show that to you. Um, but basically, I've used that thing to, to create our site. And so if you go to this page, you'll see that I have a blue picture background. I got my font set up and spaces, and I got a little dashed line. And if we scroll down, a little bit we'll see another section below that and then we'll see some more graphics so that's the idea is to use these elements to create and build the site so I know this video is a little bit longer than I really wanted it to be but I wanted to show that to you so you kind of understand what we're doing with your content we're copy and pasting your content and we're using whatever elements the theme is giving us to build it out um, we're not developing anything or creating anything outside of styling you know the actual content I hope that makes sense alright that's it